Hey guys, so today I'm doing my June TBR with my husband and I'm making it a little bit more interesting because a while back there was a cover challenge. You had someone sit with you and you showed them a book cover and then they were supposed to try to guess what the book was about. So I'm doing that today with Nathan with my June TBR so he has no idea what these books are about but he is going to attempt to tell you what they are about just based on what he sees. So if you could just state like the author and the title and sure. then just get into your description. We'll start off with this one. Kate Morton, The Secret Keeper. It's really shiny. It's got a cottage on the front. Um, hmm, okay. <laughs> start This off. is hard. Okay, so I think, I think this is obvious that she has a secret, someone has a secret, <laughs> and that they keep it. Um, so there's a quaint little cottage on the front. So my guess is it's it's about a girl and she finds out a secret and she um, stays away in the cottage. Um, and probably she like meets a dude and like they probably don't like, like each other at first and then they <laughs> fall in love. Four out of five stars. Okay, so I will leave the links to these books below for Goodreads so you can check out what they're actually about but okay moving on to the second book i plan on reading in june geekerella geekerella by ashley poston um i apologize if i pronounced that incorrectly uh it's a really cool cover um it is super cool there's a back oh it's super that's cool too so my guess is it's probably a take on cinderella from like a nerdy perspective. And she's wearing a blue dress, so Cinderella wore a blue dress. Um, but maybe it has like some geek themes and some Star Trekky, Star Trekky things. Cause there's a Star Trekky kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of Trekky. She like runs like a taco truck, it looks like. This, this truck, she's like, she runs like a taco truck and then like her fairy, Prince turns the truck into like something great and she meets some type of Prince Charming. So I think it would be a nerdy, uh, a nerdy Cinderella story. That's my guess. Okay, I actually think you got pretty close with that one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm excited for this because... A Gathering of Shadows by... V.E. Schwab. V.E. Schwab. The uh, labels The labels are name. covered up. But it's super cool. Um, v for Vendetta is getting grabbed by hands from hell. <laughs> Oh, it's about some girl. It looks like there's a girl on the front and she's holding two daggers. So she's probably like some type of like secret assassin. And I would probably like some post-punk colonial times <laughs> is my guess. But it looks like, so the, the hands from hell actually have city maps on them. So I wonder oh, if I it's- I didn't even notice that. Yeah. And she probably meets a guy <laughs> and falls in love, but like they probably don't like each other at first. Like it's like a begrudging, like, Ugh, There are different like types you. of love stories, but, but not. Mm, <laughs> what you read. That one you're not like that close with. I'm just, uh, gonna, just gonna say. I haven't read all of it. This one I'm just gonna show him the cover on my phone and I will put a picture of it here because I don't have the book yet. Little, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste N.G. or N. <laughs> Um, depending. I think it's her pen name. I feel like I've heard about this book. Oh, I've seen this name. She wrote Girl on the Train. No. It's, it's like a quaint little town. Very similar to, um, like, The Goonies or, uh, Big Hero 6, not Big Hero 6, uh, Super 8 or, uh, Stranger Things. It has that, like, small town... You can kind of see it. Like I mean, it's got this it the... small town. Oh, small town, little little city. So I think I I don't think it's gonna be like a sci-fi. I think it's probably like a play on words, like little fires. So it's either gonna be about a bunch of drama, that's like little fires, or it's gonna be some type of like romance. And it's about fireflies in a small <laughs> town. Uh -huh. And it's like that one thing that both the guy and the girl hold on to is like, oh, it's like little fires everywhere. And like the fireflies, it's like, this is our thing. And they're in love. All right. So 
I gotta just share a little about this one. The last book on my June TBR is one that Nathan is already reading. So this is the one book that he actually knows a bit about. So he's just gonna give a spoiler-free little brief synopsis, a snippet if you will, for The Grey Bastards. An uncorrected proof. So yeah. uh, I got this from a Goodreads giveaway, but take it away. So um, this is written by a really awesome dude. Woo! Um, I may or may not be related to him. Um, and without spoiling too much, it's, a uh, high fantasy. Fantasy. I don't really know what high fantasy is, but there's, like, orcs and wizards and stuff <laughs> yeah, in it, so like is that fantasy. high fantasy? Um, and it's about these orcs that, like, live on the, like, the cusp of society. Um, it, it's, like, very, like, dark and, uh, grungy where they live in the lot lands, and they... They're like trying to survive orc incursions and stuff like that. It follows this one half orc named Jackal, and uh, he finds himself in the midst of some political issues based on the uh, horde that he's a part of, which they call Hoof, and uh, he gets into some pretty interesting shenanigans. Kind of a gang comes together. If you really like like D and D or like Lord of the Rings or any of those like really strong fantasy, there's a lot of really good fantasy connections in there. Um, I can't put it down. I just really sucked into it, and I'm not a like a big reader, no. so I'm about a hundred pages in, and uh, it is really good. All right, so. Thank you, Nathan, for doing my June TBR. I do have to say, though, that of all of the books, only one of them is like a romance. Only the one this month is a cutesy love story, which is Geekerella, obviously. Okay, so based off of, based off of what you just said, mm -hmm. can I have a round two? Let me just, let me just do two clicks over the Secret Keeper and... I guess he wants to change... Uh... I'm gonna change, okay, I'm gonna try these. Okay. Maybe no love story. I'm just gonna take the love story. <laughs> but, um, a gathering of shadows. I feel like maybe she's a part of something. It's like the okay. overwhelming horde of, uh, shadows. The hands from hell is gonna come over and, like, she's, like, the chosen one. No. No. But you should read it because Reagan made her boyfriend read the series and... And The Secret Keeper, my only other guess is that maybe, since it has some kind of Victorian thing around the cover, that it is World War II historical fiction. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it yeah. It is! I nailed it. There um, may be, like, a love story in here, I'm not sure, but the whole point of it is it's not like a love story. Like, there may be, like, mm -hmm. there's a difference. There's a big difference. Yeah. It matters on what the plot's revolving around. I'm sure. Do you want to end it? You should edit. Thank you for watching and happy reading.